Hey friends, I absolutely love teaching HIIT Fit Yoga. HIIT Fit Yoga is a combination of high intensity interval training in yoga postures with the option to use props. Remember, listen to your body, honor your body, and enjoy. All right, top of our mat. Let's just begin rocking and rolling through our balls of our feet and our heels. Maybe even lift up on your toes a little bit. Just notice how your ankles are feeling this morning. And then go ahead and feel grounded through the four corners of your feet. Inhale, reverse swan dive. Open your chest, your heart. Maybe add a little back bend here, a chest opener. And then exhale, swan dive to earth. Bend the knees. Allow the belly to rest on the thighs. Draw the crown of your head towards the earth. Maybe shake the head yes and no. Letting go of any tension this morning, any stress, any anxiety, any worry. Inhale, half lift, fingertips to shins. Nice flat back, draw the shoulders away from the ears. Take a breath here. And then exhale, fold. Maybe you can get a little deeper into your forward fold. Make sure those knees are bent. And then rolling up one vertebra at a time. Restacking your spine, inhaling arms to the sky. Allow the right hand to come down towards the right. Gaze up to the left. I want you to lengthen through that left arm and then hinge over to the right. So we're lengthening and then hinging. Inhale, create space. Exhale, hinge. Inhale, back to mountain. Exhale, left hand to the left side. Gaze to the right hand. Inhale, reach to the sky. Exhale, hinge over to the left. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. One more time. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, back to mountain. Cactus the arms, gentle back bend. Inhale, arms to sky. Exhale, forward fold. Hands through heart center. Bend those knees, shift the hips back. Fingertips to shins, half lift. Exhale, fold. Bring those right fingertips to the earth. Really deep bend in that right knee as you peel the left hand to sky, coming into a twist. Dial that left hip down, take a breath. Then exhale, left fingertips to earth. Really deep bend in that left knee, peel that right hand to sky. Dial that right hip down. We're really trying to rotate through that rib cage. So right rib cage comes up towards the sky, take a breath. And then exhale, right fingertips to earth. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. So your hands on the earth, step back. Come into your plank this morning. Begin to rock forward and back. Notice how you feel this morning. Fingertips are spread wide. Just rock forward and back, shoulders slightly over wrist. And then press your heels back to the back of your space. Now we're going to pause in our plank. Our shoulders are slightly over our wrist or stacked. I want you to activate your plank this morning. So what that looks like is I want you to tuck your pubic bone towards your belly button. I want you to scrub your thumbs towards one another, but they're not actually moving. Press your pinkies into the earth. Draw the heels back. The crown of the head forward. Engage that booty, those glutes. And breathe. Notice everything activating, waking up. Bring all the awareness here to your mat this morning. Giving yourself permission to just be here. Work out what you need to emotionally, physically, mentally. For our practice, take a breath. And then hips up, down dog. When you arrive to down dog, pedal it out. Really deep bend in your right knee. Melt your left heel towards the earth. Sits bones up. Let's take that to the other side. Really deep bend in the left knee. Melt your right heel towards the earth. Sits bones high. Draw those shoulder blades down your back. Bring that left heel down to meet the right. Breathe forward to your plank. Stay at the top of your plank or hover in chaturanga. Hug those elbows in. Take a breath. Full plank, hips up, down dog. Breathe forward to plank. Stay here or hover and hold in chaturanga. Full plank, hips up, down dog. 
breathe forward plank. Hover in chaturanga. Full plank. Hips up, down dog. Breathe forward to plank. Hold at the top. Press the earth away from you. And then lower your knees. If you have a weighted ball, this is where you can grab the weighted ball. Or if you have a weight, <coughs> excuse me, if you have a weight, it works just fine too. We're going to bring that weighted ball or weight into that right shoulder, then reach it out. I call this serving the platter. Hug it in, reach it out. Hug it in, reach it out. You gotta keep going. Then I want you to engage that belly. Draw that pubic bone towards the navel. We've got four, three, two, pause with that arm in full extension. Now take that left leg long. We're coming into spinal balance. Dial that left hip down. Now pulse the heel, pulse the palm. Small little movement for four, three, two, one. Lower that down. Let's take that weight to the left hand. Hug it in, reach it out. Hug it in, reach it out. You gotta keep going, engage that belly. Hollow out that core. Here's four, three, two. Pause with the arm extended. Now take that right foot out. Now tiny pulses. Keep the head in line with the spine. We've got four, three, two, one. Lower that handed knee. Now if you have a block, this is where you could add a block to your practice. If not, it's all good. Let's bring that block between our thighs if you have it. Stack those joints, shoulders over wrist, hips over knees, tuck your toes, let's hollow up the core so a soccer ball just hits you in the gut. Now we're gonna pulse those knees and squeeze the block. Tiny little movement here. Keep breathing and hollowing out that core. You've got four, three, two, and one, hips up, down dog. Hover the knees. Hips up, hover the knees. You gotta keep going, hips up, hover the knees. Hips up, hover the knees. You've got two more, then we pulse it out. Here's two, hover, last one, hover and pulse. Maybe smile. Here's four, three, two, one, lower those knees, inhale, lift the chest, the heart for cow. Exhale, get round, tuck the chin around through the back for cat. Returning back to the neutral spine, hollow out that core. Soccer ball hits you in the gut. If you've got the block, squeeze the block and then hover those knees. Now we're going to go to the right, right hand to sky, back to tabletop, left hand to sky. Back to tabletop, keep going. Lift and lower. If you've got that block, keep squeezing that block. Keep moving, keep breathing. One more each side. Then meet me back, hovering and pulse it out. Tiny little pulses. For four, three, two, one. Lower those knees, inhale, lift the chest, the heart. Exhale, get round, tuck the chin round through the back. Set the block off to the side if you've got the block. Fingertips are spread wide. Walk those hands one print forward. Tuck the toes. Shift the hips back to down dog. When you arrive, pedal it out. Breathe, right leg to sky, three-legged dog. Float that foot through, place it between your hands. We're in that nice runner's lunge. Now inhale, take it up, press the lunge. Inhale, exhale, hinge forward, frame out that foot. Right leg comes to sky. You're gonna flow that three-legged dog. Flow, press at lunge. Take a breath in each posture. Move with your breath. Three-legged dog, press at lunge. Keep going, keep breathing. We're gonna all meet in crescent lunge, no rush, take your time. 
Knee to crescent lunge. Now we're gonna lower the knees for four. Rise, three. Rise, two. And one, take flight, warrior three. Now tiny squats, bend that right knee. Four, three, two, one. Lift that back leg, squeeze your glute. Four, three, two, one. Hamstring curls, heel to glute. Here's four, three, two, one. Reach your arms out towards the front. Now tap the knees together, hug the elbows in. There's four, three, two, and one, hands to earth, standing splits. You've got four Shiva squats. Left knee comes behind right, drop your hips. Standing split. Three more just like that. Here's three. Here's two. Here's one. Meet me back in warrior three. Hands, heart, center. Now we have four standing Shivas. Left knee behind right, tuck. Warrior three. Tuck. Warrior three. Two more. Left knee behind right. Last one. Reach those hands out the front. Step back, crescent lunge. That was fun, right? Let's do it again. Drop the knee, tuck the pelvis. Here's four, three, two, one. Take flight. Tiny pulses. We're in warrior three. Four, three, two, one, lift your heel, squeeze your glute. Four, three, two, one, heel to glute, hamstring curl. Four, three, two, one, reach your arms out, tap the knees together, hug the elbows in. Four, three, two, one, hands to earth. Four Shivas, left knee behind right, drop your hips. Three more just like that. Here's three. Here's two. Last one, meet me in that warrior three. We've got four standing Shivas, left knee behind right, tuck, warrior three. Here's three, here's two, last one. Step it back, crescent lunge, take a breath. Exhale, hinge far, frame out that foot. Right leg comes back to meet left. We are in down dog. This is where you pedal. This is where you shake your booty. Stretch out that right glute. If your right glute is not awake, I want your buns. <laughs> Stretch it out. You should be awake now. Now we've got to balance out. So breathe left leg to sky. Float that foot through. Place it between your hands. Inhale, rise up. Press that lunge. Take a breath. Exhale, take the hands down, frame out that foot, left leg to sky. Flow it. Three-legged dog, crescent lunge, pausing in each posture. Move with breath. We're all going to be back in crescent lunge. Left leg is leading. Now drop the knees, four, rise, three, two, one, take flight, tiny little pulses. Here's four, three, two, one, lift the back heel, squeeze the glute, dial that right hip down, here's two, one, heel to glute, hamstring curl, four, three, two, one, reach the arms out, tap the knees, hug the elbows together, there's four, Three, two, one, hands to earth, four Shivas, right knee behind, left, drop the hips. Three more just like that. Here's three, two, and one, meet me back, warrior three, hands, heart, center, four standing Shivas, right knee behind, left, warrior three, three more. Here's two, here's one. Reach the arms out in front, step back. You're at the top of your crescent lunge. Drop the knee, take it down. Four, three, two, one. Take flight, warrior three, tiny squats. Four, three, two, one. Lift your heel, squeeze your glute. Four, three, two, one. 
heel to glute, hamstring curl. Four, three, two, one. Reach your arms out, half knees, hug the elbows in. Four, three, two, one. Hands to earth, Shiva's right knee behind left. Four, go lower each time. Three, two, one, meet me in warrior three, standing Shiva. Right knee behind left, hands heart center. Four, three, two, one. Reach the arms out, step back here at the top of your crescent lunge. Take a breath. Exhale, hinge forward, frame out that left foot. Left leg comes back to meet right. Down dog. Paddle it out. Stretch out that left glute. Feeling the lock now in the left glute. Melting both heels towards the earth. Breathe forward during plank. Walk it down, forearm plank. Gonna go right into plank walks here. Tap the right knee, then the left. And then let's bring it up to a jog. Keep pressing the earth away from you through your forearms. Breathe. Now run it out. We've got four, three, two, and pause. Hold that forearm plank. Going right into Spider-Man crunches. Right knee, right tricep. Roll through the toes, pause. Now take it back. Left knee, left tricep, pause. Take it back, keep going. Alternating. Stay strong. One more each side. Now pause in your forearm plank. Hold. Here's four, three, two, one. Walk it up, full plank. Hips up, down dog. Drop it down to dolphin. Breathe. Now you have a choice. You can bend the knees and then shift forward into plank. Or you can just stay here in dolphin and work on tapping the knees down and up. Or you don't even have to bend the knees. You can just work on shifting forward into plank. Your choice. We can go dolphin, bend the knees, plank. Down dog. Dolphin, hover. Use that breath, use that belly, plank. Down dog, your choice. Let's do two more. And then meet back and down dog. Walk those hands back to meet your feet. Rolling up one vertebra at a time. Going right into butt kicks this morning. If you want to grab weights, go ahead and grab them. Remember, you can always eliminate the hops here. You can be here. You can be here. You can stand there. Right at the high knees. Butt kicks. I am not a good patient. All right. I'm using a band. 
You do not have to. So, I am putting my band around my arches. If you don't have a band, it's going to be exactly the same. I'm going to put my hands on my hips. I'm going to ground through my left foot. I'm going to pop my right heel off the earth. Now, full extension, leg is nice and long, and then tap it back in, bend the knee. Reach, tap, you got it. Stand really tall to this left hip, which is your grounded leg. Reach it out, tap it in. Reach it out, tap it in. Also notice if you start coming forward or arching, just stack the body here. Shoulders are stacked over the hips. Or you could also think rib cage is stacked over your hips. Tap it in, tap it out, you got it. Tap it in, tap it out. You've got four more, then we're gonna add to it. Here's three, here's two. Now full extension here, lift really long out of this left hip. Now tiny little pulses up. Keep that right leg off the earth. Tiny little pulses. Stay tall. You got it. Here's four, three, two, and one, lower that down, move through those hips, swing them from right to left. And we're gonna take that to the other side. Ground through that right leg, pop that left heel off the earth. Get really tall, lengthen, tap it in. Full extension, nice straight leg, now bend that knee. You gotta keep going. Tap it out, tap it in, tap it out, tap it in, stand tall. You're gonna add the belly here by tucking that pubic bone towards the navel. Activate the core. You've got four, three, two, full extension. Now lengthen out of the body and then lift that left leg and pulse it up. Keep that left foot off the earth for four, three, two, one. Lower down, move through the hips. Now we're gonna move that, uh, if you have the band this morning, move it to the ankles. If you don't, it's all good. We're gonna take it down in a squat, then bring it up. I'm adding the triceps, but I take my squat down, and then I squeeze my triceps and bring my arms back. Activate what you want to this morning. You have a choice in your practice to be more active, or to be passive, there's not a wrong, there's not a right. Show up where you're at, squeeze. Squeeze the glutes on the way up. Squeeze the triceps on the way up. Put the weight in your heels. Here's four, here's three, here's two, meet me at the bottom, pulse it out, tuck the pelvis. If you wanna create that active, press the palms together. Really, not just rest them, press them together. We're gonna add a lateral lift. So squat, lift to the right. I'm adding a punch. Squat, punch, lift to the left. Keep going, lift. Each time your squat, see if you can get a little lower. One more each side. Now we're gonna take it back. So it's here, right mid leg back. Squat. Left leg back. Bring that leg right behind. Lift, squat, lift, squat. You gotta keep going. Breathe. One more each side. Ha, meet me at the top. All right, if you've got the band, lose the band. Grab a drink. We're gonna move on to arms. So if you have weights, Go ahead and grab your weights. Feet are shoulder width apart or a little wider. Arms are gonna come up to a V. Make sure not to bring the arms any higher than your shoulders. So they pause, take it down. Nice, pause, take it down. You got it. Take it up, bring it down. Let the muscles work for you. Try to be mindful of taking out the gravity here. We don't want our arms just falling. Notice if you want to activate the belly, draw that pubic bone up towards your navel. Here's four, three, two, and hold. 
hold in the top, now bring them out to a T. Tiny little arm circles. Small little circles. Now change direction. Change direction. Change direction. Change direction. One more time, change direction. Now draw those weights together. Now we're gonna pull with the right. Keep that right elbow in line here, okay? So I'm not dropping that elbow. If the elbow starts dropping and you have weights, that's a sign to lose the weights. It's all good. Here we go, pull, pull. You've got four more, here's four. Three, two, and one. Now pull left, keep that elbow in line. Pull, pull, you got it. Here's four, three, two, both arms back up to shoulder presses. Take it up, cactus the arms. Up, and cactus, you got it. Keep going. We've got four, three, two, meet me in the field goal, let's pulse it out. Small little pulses for four, three, two, hold. Now draw those elbows towards one another and then open up. Draw them in, open them up. You gotta draw them in, open. Four more, here's four. Breathe, three, breathe. Two, last one. Now hug those elbows towards one another. Now tiny little lifts. One inch up and down. For four, three, two, and pause. Now punch right, left, right, left. For four, three, two, one. Lower that down. Now lead with the right leg. We're gonna go right into some biceps here. You can stay at the top of your crescent lunge. Or if you want to lower the left knee, coming into some bicep curls, your choice. Tuck that pelvis. Make sure you look down and you can see those right toes. Protect your joints this morning. Lower and lift if you're moving here. We've got four, three, Two, wherever you're at, let's hover that left knee. Bring those hands at 90 degrees and we're gonna pulse it out. Tiny pulses. Here's four, three, two, one. Nice job. Now lengthen out of that back leg. You want you to bring your weights to your heart center. Shift the torso forward. You're at 45 degrees here. Now we're gonna go right back to a tricep extension. Arms are hugging the side body. Lift, lift, you got it, lift. If this doesn't feel good, you can always come to warrior one by lowering the back heel. Lift or pyramid by straightening both legs. Lift for four, three, two, full extension of the arms. Now lift back, tiny pulses. Small little movement for four, three, two, hold it at the top. Now we're gonna squeeze those arms together for four, three, two, one. Now lift four, three, two, one. Squeeze four, three, two, one. Lift four, three, two, one. Squeeze four, three, two, one. Bring that left foot up to meet the right. Nice job, friends. All right, step that right foot back. Coming into your crescent lunge this morning. You can stay at the top or lower that knee. Bicep curls. Make sure you can see those left toes. Lower it down, bring it up. Squeeze that right glute if you're moving with this. At the top, squeeze. Here's four, three, Two, wherever you're at, hover that right knee. Bring those arms to 90 degrees and pulse it out. Tiny little movement. Pulse. 
Here's four, three, two, one. Now lengthen out of that back leg. Bring the weights to heart center. We're gonna shift the torso forward. This time we're flying. So bring the weights down. Now squeeze the shoulder blades together. Squeeze. We're flying. Back leg is long and strong. Here we go. Four, three, two. Let's pulse it out. Tiny little pulses for four, three, two, one. Now bring those weights down in front. This is a narrow pull. Hug the elbows right next to the body. Narrow pulls. You got it. Here's four, three, two, and one. Now flip those weights. This is a wide pull. Pull, pull. You've got four, three, two, and one. Bring those weights heart center. Lift the torso up. Bring that right foot to meet the left. Come right into chair. Pulse it out. Put your weight in your heels for me. Lift the toes. Tiny little pulses. Tuck the pelvis. Small little movement. Here's four, three, two, one. Take it up. Your version of a jumping jack. You can lose your weight. You can lose the hops. Just move your body. It's all good. Jump rope. Jumping jacks. Jump rope. Here's four, three, two, one. All right, friends, get a drink. Four, three, two, 
One, shift it back, quick child's pose, take a breath. Exhale, bring it back up. Tiny pulses, small little movement. Here's four, three, two, one, take it back. Quick little child's pose. Inhale, exhale, bring it back up. Now we pulse four, three, two, now hover and pulse four, three, two, up one, pulse four, three, two, hover, pulse four, three, two, up one, pulse four, three, two, and hover, pulse four, three, two, up one, take it back, child's pose. Take a breath. And then exhale, bring it back up. You can set your blocks off to the side if you have them. And then a weighted ball or a weight will work just fine here. We're gonna come to all fours. Bring that weight or weighted ball behind that right knee. And then just begin pressing the sole of that right foot towards the sky. Dial that right hip down. Fingertips are spread wide. Small little pulses. See if you can get your quad parallel to the earth here. Tiny little pulses. Wake up that glute. Add that belly. Draw that pubic bone towards your navel. Here's four, three, two, one. Now hover that knee, press it up. Hover, press it up. Now I want you to tuck, press it up. Chin towards knee, tuck, press it up. Tuck, press it up. One more. Now meet me at the top, tiny pulses up. For four, three, two, and hold, now cross that right knee over the left leg, lift it back to the top. Cross, lift, you got it. Four, breathe, three, breathe, two, last one. Now we're gonna open and close, so open it to the right. Try to keep the core really stable. We don't wanna be shifting, we wanna stay strong. The only thing that's moving is our leg. Here's four. Three, two, hold it at the top, tiny pulses. Small little pulses up. For four, three, two, one, big circles with that right leg. Slow it down, really big circles. Now change direction. And then bring that leg down. Let's take that to the other side. If you've got a weight or weighted ball behind the left leg, sole the foot towards the sky, head in line with your spine, dial that left hip down. Squeeze that glute. You got this. I am dripping of sweat, friends. Ho! Oh. Here we go. Tiny pulses. Now we're going to hover, bring it up. Hover, bring it up. Now we're tucking, drawing everything to the center and then lifting it up. Chin towards me, tuck, lift it up. Chin towards me, tuck, lift it up. One more time. And then pulse it at the top. For four, three, two, and hold. Now cross that left knee over the right, back up. Cross, squeeze. Cross, squeeze, you've got four more. Here's four, breathe, three, breathe, two, last one. Now open and close, bring it up, take it down. Bring it up, take it down, hollow out that core. Imagine a soccer ball hit you in the gut. Bring it up, take it down for four, three, Two, hold it at the top, tiny pulses. Four, three, two, and big circles. Slow your circles down, make them really big. Now change direction. Four big circles. Here's two. Last one, nice job. Let's set that weight or weighted ball off to the side. Meet me in plank. We're gonna go right into plank jacks. Here we go. Remember, you can eliminate hops by just walking it out. Your choice. Show up where you're at. 
Mountain climbers. Right into plank jacks. Mountain climbers. Plank jacks. Mountain climbers for four, three, two, one. Hold plank for four, three, two, one. Bring those knees down. All right, friends, we're gonna go into core. Yes, we've been doing core all class for an isolate core. Depending on what props you have available, I'm gonna use a blue ball here. Pilates ball behind my back is totally not necessary. And I'm gonna use a weight or a weighted ball. Here we go. Oh, my lungs, I just wanna breathe deeply. Okay, here we go, I'm in boat. I'm gonna extend my right leg long. I'm gonna bring a weight or weighted ball out. I'm just kind of lifting it up here. So I'm shifting back, trying to tap the wall, whatever's in front of you, with that weight or weighted ball or just your palms, it's all good. See if you can keep that right knee in line with the left for four, three, two, and one. If you've got a weight or weighted ball, bring it to heart center. If not, just bring your hands together in prayer. Point the right toes, lift and lower. Lift and lower that right leg. Activate this by really squeezing the palms together or your weighted ball. Keep your chest and heart lifted. Now we're gonna hold it at the top. We're gonna open it to the right, bring it back to the center. Open and bring it back. Open, bring it back, you got it. Open, bring it back for four, Breathe, three, breathe, two, last one. Now we're gonna lift and lower, draw that knee up and then back. So we're shifting forward and back here. Hug it in, shift back, hug it in, shift back, you got it. Four, breathe, three, breathe, two. Now hug it all in and pulse it out for four, three, two, one. Now lengthen that right leg. Now we're going to bring it out and in. I know your hip flexors are screaming. Four, breathe. Three, breathe. Two, last one. Now bring that right foot back down. Lengthen left leg long. Reach that weighted ball out so it's coming straight from your heart. Now timing pulses up. Tap it up. Small little movement. Keep that left knee in line with the right. For four, three, two, one. Bring the palms to heart, center point that left toe, lift and lower, lift and lower. Activate the chest and the arms by squeezing a weighted ball or your palms together. You got it. Here's four, three, two. Now hold it at the top. Open and close. Open that left leg. Whoa! Right here, you're going to notice if one hip flexor is weaker than the other. My left one is. Here's four, three, two, and one. Now draw the knee in and out, in and out. Remember, you're shifting forward and back, forward and back. You got it. Four, breathe, three, two, Draw the line, pulse it out. Four, three, two, one. Left leg long. Tap it out to the left, back to the center. Tap. You've got four more. Here's four, three, two, and one. Draw that left foot back in. Now we're going to draw those smiley faces with the torso. Lift to the left, circle around, lift to the right. Keep going. See if you can squeeze those knees together. Try and keep them in line here. Lift. So we hollow out that core. Then lift the chest forward. Hollow out. Lift. You got it. Keep breathing. Hollow it out. Lift. Now whichever side you're on, we're going to pulse. Pulse it out. Pulse for four, three, 
two, one, circle it around, now pulse, four, three, two, and one, nice job. Now we're gonna bring the hands, open them up, palms to the sky. I've got a ball behind me, if you do not, you're just bringing the small of the back to your mat and tie your little pulses up. Your belly should be on fire, like flames coming from your belly. Let's go. Tiny little pulses here. Here's four, three, two. Now inhale, draw it up. Exhale, take it down. Pause with the small of the back on the mat. Inhale, draw it up. Exhale, take it down. Pause. Inhale, rise to sky. Exhale, pause. Inhale, up. Exhale, pause and pulse. You can do this. Pause and pulse. Woo, belly. Here we go. Four, three, two. Inhale, rise up. You can always grab the back of your thighs. Exhale, pause down. Inhale, rise. Exhale, pause. Inhale, rise. Exhale, pause and pulse. This is it. You've got this. Here's four, three, two, and one. Lay back. All the way back, one vertebra at a time. Woo, friends. <sighs> now walk those heels in towards your glutes. Again, if you have a Pilates ball, it's optional. Or if you have a block, you can bring it between your thighs. We're gonna finish with some glute work here. Walk those heels in towards your glutes. Hands next to your side. Press into the earth, roll up into bridge. Now at the top here, tiny little pulses. So imagine you have headlights here on your hip bones and you're bringing your headlights towards the sky and each time you lift, you're squeezing your glutes and your hips. Tiny little, tiny little lifts, tiny little pulses. Squeeze your glutes and hips, you got it. Maybe you wanna come up to your uh, toes here, heels off the earth, it's all good, wherever you're at today. Tiny pulses up, tiny squeeze of the glutes and hips. Here's four, three, two, one, lower down. Now we're gonna lift up to the right. So keep that left hip down, right hip high. Now pulse there. So now we're just squeezing the right hip and glute. Squeeze, we're isolating that. Let's go. Tiny lifts, left hip is lowered, right hip is lifted. Woo! Here's four, three, two, one. Now swoop it through the middle. Left hip is high, right hip is lower. Squeeze and isolate the left hip and glute. Lift and squeeze. You got this. Keep breathing. For four, three, two, one. Meet me back in the middle. We're gonna lift and lower. Lift and lower. Tuck that pelvis, roll up, squeeze the glutes. Lower down, squeeze at the top, release at the bottom. You gotta keep going. Here's four, here's three, here's two. Now meet me at the top. Tiny little pulses up. Headlights are shining towards the ceiling. We're squeezing the glutes and hips for four, three, two, one. Lower down. If you have the ball or a block between the thighs, set it off to the side. Now this is where it's your choice. We can go into half pigeon or if you want to go into reclined pigeon, which is crossing your right ankle over your left knee, interlocking the hands behind the left thigh, and then hugging the legs in. If you're going into half pigeon, the right leg is going to be here. You're going to walk the left toes and left knee back. You can be here. Try to square the hips. Maybe some movement this morning. And then you can take it down if it feels good to your body. Drawing that left hip towards the earth. Whichever version of pigeon you're in, breathe into it. 
Create some more space in your posture. Allow the body to soften. Sharing this practice with me this morning. 
May the light within me shine greatly within each one of you. Much love and gratitude. Stay well, my friends. Namaste. Thanks for sharing that practice with me. Take that energy that you created off your mat into your life to be the best version of yourself today. If you find value in my videos, please like, subscribe, and share my channel. Also, follow at Megan's Yoga Tribe on social media. Much love and gratitude. Namaste.